Hi, it's Tina today, and today I would like to share with you on how I created my uh, blank canvas uh, mixed media layout. So the first thing I did was take my canvas piece and just covered it with a thin layer of gesso. And I'm using the Liquitex uh, acrylic ink that was in the main kit for January and a container or two that's got water in it because I'm actually going to mix them up to make a, a, a color wash from that. So you can see there's water in my containers already. Um, so all I'm going to do is just uh, drop some of that acrylic ink right into those containers and then I'll just shake it up a little bit and it's perfect and it, those containers are actually really nice because you can keep it and use it for later on. So now what I'm doing is just dropping on the acrylic ink right on top of my canvas and you can see me spritzing it with water there. So I'm just really blending it into the background, letting it drip kind of wherever it wants. So you can see there's a lot of different color variation and I really like that look on this and it's super easy. So there's areas of dark and then there's areas of light. So I'm going to do the same thing with the red acrylic ink on the other end of the canvas. So I'm just dropping on the acrylic ink and I'm going to go ahead and spritz it with water. And I'm using quite a bit of water actually. You can see where um, it's getting pretty wet but the canvas that that's fine. I just don't want I didn't want um, the individual droplets to be seen. I really wanted it to start blending. So you can see um, in the areas where the red and the blue come together it starts creating purple so it was kind of a really fun um, look to it. So now I'm just really um, letting the two different colors blend into each other. You saw me moving the canvas back and forth um, so the colors actually started blending. Then I went ahead and, and zapped it with a heat um, gun to dry completely. So now what I'm doing is taking that um, solution that I had made at the beginning of the video and I'm just going to start dabbing on some more color. I wanted more depth and texture to my background and I'm just going to let this sit on top of the other color that's already on there and you'll really see in the close-ups um, that I've posted on the blog what that looks like when it just dries on there. And again it's just a little bit of a different look than um, the spritzed color on there and I'm just going to let it sit right on top so it's going to pull in those areas and I did the same thing with the other end so you can see me mixing in some of the red acrylic ink into my water and I'm going to do the same thing right on top of there and I'm kind of putting it in areas where I want the um, the the lines of the color to kind of come together you can see where I'm, I'm dabbing them on there and again, I'm going to do the same thing with the red that I did with the blue. I'm just going to really let that sit on top of my canvas. So now that my canvas is done, you can see those areas in the close-up where it was sitting on top. So it just created like this water-looked um, effect on top of the canvas. So I'm using this stencil that was included in the limited edition kit and the crackle medium from Viva that was in the limited edition kit. And I'm going to use the two sun shapes um, that were on that um, 12 by 12 canvas. And I'm going to go ahead and um, apply the crackle paint, a crackle medium, um, on top of the canvas. And you can see me, I'm using both of the, the shapes, the negative and then the main shape of the sun. And I'm letting some of it go off the edge of my canvas. I don't want full circles um, all the way on the canvas, but you can see me just adding the shapes right onto the canvas. So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, from a flow standpoint, I kind of had in my mind um, where I wanted my photo to be and where I wanted the title to be. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want my sun shapes to actually be on my canvas. You see I'm pretty <laughs> indecisive on where I want the kind of this last one to go. So 
So then I let that dry completely so it cracked, and you can see the red and the blue color underneath the cracked um, medium once it was dry. And then I grabbed a lot of my um, doodling pens. So I have a bunch of my Montana markers, and I have a lot of my um, my doodling, my black doodling pen, and my white uh, Uniball Signo pen, which is like totally, totally awesome. It's my favorite white pen out there, and I'd buy them by the caseload if I if I really could. So. I'm going to take the shapes that are on my canvas and I'm going to really start outlining them. I'm going to go through this really fast and I want you to sit here and watch me outline um, each one of these sun shapes. So I'm just going to take my doodle marker and it's um, the one from Christy Tomlinson, the one I use from Scarlet Lime. I really like those. They go over um, kind of this rough surface really nicely. So you can see that I've outlined all of the shapes and when I moved it you can see kind of some of that shininess from the crackle medium. And now what I'm going to start doing doing is doodling on each one of the sun shapes. So you can see me getting different colors of my Montana markers out. Um, I love these markers. They're great. It's just acrylic paint in a, in a pen form so it's really nice. You can apply it in, in the areas, very small areas. Um, they're They're fabulous for that. So I'm going to start coloring in and doodling on all of my sun shapes. And again, I'm going to fast forward through most of this. I didn't want to bore you by um, having you sit and watch me do it all. But um, I'm doing basically two different um, sh design color themes on the sun. So you can see that um, repetition throughout my layout there. So I'm just going to keep doodling. I'm adding layer on top of layer between the Montana markers and my black and my white doodle pen. I just keep adding, adding a bunch of layers on top of each one of the shapes. And I'm not being overly um, picky or um, specific when I'm doodling over it. Um, when I doodle actually it gets kind of messy. Um, but I, I again I, I like that look. You can be very specific and um, very exact when you doodle. But I kind of like that um, not specific and exact look. So um, when I doodle actually it goes fairly quick um, just because I'm layering on top of each other and if the lines are different wet or they're not completely straight, that's completely okay with me. And that, again, is the look that I'm going for here. And with the Montana markers, you want to shake them before you use them. Um, and then you can see that piece of paper on my right side. I press it down just to get that acrylic paint um, flowing through the tip of the um, marker. So I just usually shake them before I use each one. So you can see me doodling on the inside of the suns as well. I'm just doing dots. Dots are fabulous. I, I love dots. They're super easy to do and they add a lot of uh, texture and um, interest to your doodles as well. And I'm just adding and outlining each one of them. Um, a lot of times when I do the dots with the Montana markers, I'll even outline them. Um, again, just to kind of add more layers and more interest to what I'm doing. So now I'm just outlining the outside of each one of the, the star ray or the sun rays. You can see, and, and again, it just really defines it a little bit more and um, just adds more interest to the doodles. You can see I'm close to getting done with my doodles. Um, I'm just adding some last minute um, dots in the center with some of the green Montana marker. Um, you can see I left the centers of the one um, empty because I wanted that blue crackle to actually show through. So I just added circles on the outside of them. But then I added the green on the inside of the others. So this is just the finishing touch. You can see it's almost done. Um, it, it's almost how it looks when I finished it. 
So now all I did was put my photo on it and my title and my layout was done and it was completely from scratch. It was a blank canvas when I started but I really like the look. Um, you can see here in the close up what the doodles look like. Thank you for stopping by today and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks.